it's Sally Steele for Sally Steele Rock Show. Welcome to my show. We have a very special guest for you today. One of my favorite pals here in the rock and roll scene. <clears throat> my next guest, it's kind of early for me, sorry. My next guest has been in the scene a long time. He's played with everybody and uh, I haven't interviewed him in quite a long time. So we're going to bring him out right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tracy Guns. Hold on a second. How you doing there, Tracy? Cheers. <laughs> I'm doing great. How you doing, Sally? I'm doing great. <laughs> you know, I, I saw you guys here at the at, at the whiskey and congratulations. Wow. What a show you were smoking, baby. The whiskey's now, like, like playing at home. You know, it's like playing a party. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what, it, that's what it seemed like. Um, now you of course have your new album, black diamonds. And I heard some mm. of that. Now this is great music. Um, how would you describe this music compared to like, other LA Guns released material? Um, I think, you know, it's just always the next one, right? You know, um, <clears throat> I don't really listen to the previous one when I'm making the next one. So, you know, hopefully they're consistent. So when I finish a new one and I listen to the old one, the one that comes out before it, if, if I feel great about it, then we did a good job and it's usually the case. So, um, I don't, I think it might be a little bit more diverse, um, <clears throat> a few more rock styles, maybe it's a good way to put it a little bit older influences this time. Um, and that's always the conscious decision, you know, of like, well, do we want, do we want to make a really heavy record or do we want to make a more glammy record seventies thing, or do we want to put everything together? And in this one, we kind of put everything together. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's no two songs on here that are that similar, um, which um, some records or most LA Guns records have kind of pairs of songs, you know, like two songs that go together or two similar sounding songs. But this one really doesn't have that. So that's I think that's the difference. Mm hmm. Well, I, I loved it. It sounded really melodic and, uh, you know, I think the people were really in tune with it. I, I think it's great. I, I, I don't listen to a lot of new music anymore. I listen to the same old thing, but no, me, me either. <laughs> yeah. but I, I love your new stuff. So congratulations on that. And, uh, you Thanks. know, when people I like it. good, when I saw you backstage, I got to ask you, uh, you know, you were with Orianti, like, I thought that was just a rumor. So, uh, like, wow, congratulations. Mm -hmm. how, how did you guys meet and when, right. how did that come about? Um, we met last summer, um, like we didn't meet in person, but we started talking <clears throat> at the end of last summer, our agent kind of connected us in a weird way. And um, now we're together and it's great. Yeah, she's she's awesome. Okay. Well, I was going to ask you if it was love at first sight, but you said you didn't quite meet that way. So. Um, I, I, I kind of, I mean, it took a long time for us to actually meet, you know, for various reasons. I was gone. You know, she got COVID, um, all kinds of things. And I w went to Denmark after we just started talking in in december and then uh in january we got together that was that and we've been together ever since wow good partner <laughs> yeah congratulations she is awesome man and what a what a career she's had yeah um that's yeah. great now now are she's you just getting started too oh cool now are you guys gonna do any shows together perform together at all record anything um, I mean, you know, we're both very musical, obviously, and but you know, we try to concentrate on our private life more than than anything else. And uh, I, I I assume we're gonna do things together. We already have done some things together, um, but that's not that's not a priority in this relationship for sure. Okay, cool. Well, you're a lucky man, Tracy. <laughs> She's cool. Um, yep. now, your history in music is one of the longest lists 
that I've ever known. I mean, you have played with every name musician in the business, but I have to ask you now, you were with Axel and Guns N' Roses before Slash. Why did you leave? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't want to kill myself. <laughs> you know, it was, it was uh, a little, little too much, little, little too much for me. The partying, the drugs, or just conflict of personality? Or? The, 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 yeah, just the energy. That's not my energy. You know, that's, you know, I, I don't, I don't like that much attention, <laughs> you know, you know, and I don't like getting attention for, you know, negative reasons, you know, and it was starting to get like that towards the end before I left. There was just a lot of negative energy happening. And, um, I was 19, you know, I, I, I was not ready for anything that preceded the next three years, you know, after I left, you know, LA guns is my speed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh. Happier there. How do you think your life would have been different had you stayed with Axel and Guns N' Roses? I would have killed myself. I would have had no life. Well, that would have not been good. So you made the right decision. <laughs> how yeah. did, how yeah. did you How did you meet Phil Lewis? Interesting. Um, we were just about to get. We were at Polygram Polydor or whatever it was called back then at the time, about to sign our deal. And whoever was singing for us at the time got asked a very simple question, you know, like, you know, where do you see your, this band or where do you see yourself, you know, in five years kind of a question. And the guy just nodded off like he was strung, he was strung out on heroin. I didn't know. And so we were leaving that meeting and we knew that that was the end of the deal, you know, when he did that. Um, so my manager asked me, uh, we were literally just walked out the door. I'll never forget. He goes, well, who, who would you want to sing? You know, I go, mm -hmm. Phil Lewis from girl, you know, he goes, Oh, I know him. And then it happened so fast. It was so crazy. Like such a, um, like you said, I'm a lucky man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm a lucky man. You know, that was a typical stroke of good luck, um, for me. Um, he came and we had this, really crazy studio above SIR in Hollywood. And we went up there to rehearse the first day. And I think we did like a couple songs. And then I was just like, this is awesome. And I go, you want to do this? And he's like, yeah. And then we stopped and we went and ate lunch. And then we just, after that, that was it. And here we are, man. Like, I don't know, like 35 years later or something. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, you're, you're still yeah. at the chemistry. You're still doing good from what I saw at the whiskey there. So yeah, it's wild. It's great. Um, now, I know you've talked about it before, but uh, what was the reason that uh, Steve Riley and Kelly Nichols left? What was behind that split? I got to know. I got to ask that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, you know, I don't, I don't give a shit. I mean, those guys have caused more harm in my personal life then they don't deserve the air I breathe. So I'm not going to talk about them. Okay. Well, when I interviewed Kelly Nichols a while back, he told me that they had to start the band because you guys didn't want to play the M3 Rock Festival. That's that's all I got. Is that true? Exactly. Yeah. So they had to start a band because I didn't want to do something. See? See how it works? Because Tracy didn't want to do something. We had to do something. <laughs> Okay. It's like, get your own fucking life. Okay. Okay, well, um, I guess there's no reuniting with those guys, but you're doing good no. anyway, so that's all that matters. Yeah. Okay. The last people you need around you are, are you, let me set it, either people are, are with you or they're against you. Those guys are against me, you know, mm. and I got I got no, no sour grapes, nothing. Just go the fuck away. Mm hmm. OK. All right. Well, I guess everybody still wants to work, but uh, you're doing good. Got a great album. Great lineup, by the way, with the with the band and everything now. So congrats on that. Now, as you look back in your Thanks. career, in all, all honesty, would you is there anything that you would have done differently? No. 
Okay. I mean, honestly, there's not. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, you play music and you write music for yourself. Um, any success you have is that's extra. You know, that's not the goal. You know, not for me, anyways. Um, you know, just to be great at what you do and satisfy your itches. You know, like you know, some people drink. You know, some people go on vacation. Some people ride roller coasters. I write and record music. And I perform live, and those are the things that make me happy. And I've been able to do that, you know, for a long time with a lot of different people. And, you know, 99% of the time, it's a great experience. It's very rare to have, you know, a musical bad experience, you know. So there's nothing I would have changed. I mean, you can't, you can't plan your road, you know, because the road's already there. You just got to go down it. You know, whatever happens, mm -hmm. happens. Yeah, I mean, you've played with everybody from Michael Shanker to Nikki Six to everybody. Is there anybody that you would like to do a musical project with that you haven't played with yet? Is is there anybody left? Well, I just did a record with Todd Kearns that comes out in September that's spectacular. Mm -hmm. You know, he's always been, you know, I wanted to do something with him for eight years now. And we finally got that opportunity and... It's all I can say is it's musically spectacular. That guy is amazing. And what a great yeah. person. Yeah. Yeah. I just saw him on Friday. He was playing. Uh, yeah. Todd's uh, been around uh, here in Vegas for a while. We love him. Yeah. yeah he's a sweetheart. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I also want to thank you for coming to my Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards uh, 2014. That was, that was really fun. Okay. I, I, I want to honor yeah, Ellie I remember Gold. that. I, re, I, I remember the whole thing. You do? What's that? <laughs> it was pretty hectic for me. But uh, I, I want to honor Ellie I Gold bet. for the next one. Uh, uh, are you, uh, will, you got, will you come to the Thank next you. one? It's going to be early next year. Are you going to come? Of course. Of course we will. All right. Well, yeah. I'll be asking you, so... Stay tuned for that invite. I want to invite Phil okay. and everybody. So um, was there ever at a point in your career that you got frustrated musically and said, just to heck with this, I'm going to do something else? Um, I don't know if I'd put it that way. I get, I can get easily musically bored, um, especially when I was younger, you know, my mind my mind moves really fast. So, you know, that boredom is kind of like, I don't know if it's, maybe they describe it as ADHD these days, you know, I, you know, but with music, you know, I always want to do something else, you know, because there's so much to do. And, uh, I think I learned how to pace myself better now that I'm an old man. Um, but yeah, I mean, it kind of goes along with your questions. Is there anything different I would do? You know, no, but I like doing a lot of things. And, you know, sometimes I like to do a lot of things at the same time, which, you know, still seems to yield good results. So, you know, it's, you know, music's all psychology anyways. Mm -hmm. It really what is. Are you, what are you most proud of in your personal life and professional career? Mm, my personal life, you know, I got two great boys, you know, they're, they're amazing and they're both really special kids. Um, one's Danish and one's American. So that's, you know, it's a trip, you know, having two kids that are, you know, born in different countries and they both have the same personality. It's wild. You know, it's really wild. They're both really funny and really smart. And, um, you know, that's my proudest thing is, is those two guys. Um, Career-wise, um, you know, I'm proud. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm proud. I sure love it, though. Are you starting a band with your sons yet? How old are they? No, Jagger's 14. He's a sportsman. And uh, my little guy, the little sketchy guy, Oli, he's only three. But he's already starting to band in his mind. I can see it. <laughs> What's he going to play? 
right now it looks like he's going to play everything because he, he loves the piano and guitars and ukuleles and drums and he loves to sing and, and wiggle around. You know, when he was like a year and a half old, he would like rock out to music in his car chair, you know, his car seat, you know, mm-hmm. which Jagger, that, it was never that way. So, you know, mm-hmm. Oli's really musical and, and, and really feels music and he's really into it. So we'll see. All right. Well, that sounds like a, a great thing with those boys. Uh, do you have any plans to uh, yeah. come to Vegas and perform soon? We always come in December. You know, we always play two, night at Vamp, two nights at Vamp. Um, mm-hmm. It's kind of like our whiskey thing. We play there twice a year as well um, because we like those people, you know, that, that run both those venues. You know, we feel like they're part of our recent history um and we tend to make decisions based on what's fun and you know and who are good people and you know who's great to work with you know um and a lot of times it is these these venues like this because they were supportive you know when times were rough you know uh in in times of trouble you know those venues have been there for us so mm-hmm. um so we always play with Corey and Danny, you know, because they're just yeah. solid, solid people in Vegas. And mm-hmm. of course there's a you know, million mm-hmm. other places we can play there, but, but that's what we do. We, we stay consistent. Oh yeah. Danny, and Corey, the best, best true rockers. Love them. Um, I'm going to um, end things with two off the wall questions. Uh, what is your greatest fear in life? Hmm. Greatest fear in life. Um, running out of cigarettes. <laughs> I don't That's know. You got, a, <laughs> you got a good pack. That's down. my you got drug. A good... <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, I mean, left, I guess, you know, running left. out of cigarettes is- Cause I'm being honest, like what's the one thing that, you know, freaks me out and that, <laughs> and that freaks me out. It really does. It's like, Oh shit. I have one cigarette left. Oh no. Okay. I wish they, I, I wish they didn't exist, but they do. And you know, mm-hmm. one, mm-hmm. one nail coffin at a time. Okay. <laughs> one coffin. Okay. Nail at okay. A time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Last question. If if you could change anything in the world today, what would that be? Wow, that's that's a tough question. I mean, you know, um, <clears throat> I wish that there wasn't this brutal misinformation. You know, I wish that people didn't believe other people's bullshit you know that's 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 poison that's toxic and uh you know it runs through business it runs through personal relationships it it runs through societies you know it's this very bad habit that humans have have taken on um and i think it has a lot to do with negative attention people seek attention and if they can't get attention then it turns into negative attention and you're always going to get attention for being negative. It's kind of like, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. sometimes when somebody steals a purse from an old lady, you know, yeah, they're desperate, but they're also looking for some kind of really weird attention, you know, or when people go on car chases, you know, it's like, you're going to get caught and you know, you're going to get caught. So why not just stop and and deal with it? No, that, they have to go and run. They know the helicopters are going to be there and they're going to get some, their 15 seconds of fame. And, you know, humans are really complex. They really are. And they do a lot of damage to other people. And, you know, I think the world could do without that kind of mentality. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why... It's good that you do these interviews. So you, whatever people say about you, you can clear things up right here. So, oh, I don't really care. Ever... What say. I, I don't really care what people say about me. I, I, I mean, in general, people cause great damage. 
you know, to multiple people or they, you know, they uh, go on a campaign of untruth and then people believe it, you know, kind of strange herd mentality. Um, it's, it's a general thing, you know, and it happens more in our country than any other place I've ever been. Um, and it's just, you know, it's people are, can be really mean hearted, you know, and like I said, seeking negative attention, you know, and I think that's the most unhealthy thing in our, in any society. You know, mm -hmm. Like I said, it's mm -hmm. poison. Were, were you ever in a car chase with the police? I got to ask. No, I, no, I was not. <laughs> I had to ask. I maybe had to ask. Record, I, I didn't know. Maybe, was... maybe when our next record comes out, that'll be you know some kind of publicity stunt. I don't know. <laughs> I had to ask. I didn't know if that was personal experience or not. But uh, no. Well, Tracy, it, it's such a pleasure to to talk to you, and so nice to see you a couple last a uh, couple weeks ago when I saw oh, you. Yeah, and thanks. Nice to see you too. Congratulations on the, the new album, uh, Black Diamonds. I, I want everybody to listen to that. Great record. We're very proud of you, Tracy. Of you, you Tracy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see you at the, the next Vegas Rocks Magazine Awards, okay? I'm bringing you out. Okay, we're, we'll be there. Okay, all right. Take care, Tracy. See you next time. Sally Steele Rock Show. Thanks. Sally, see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.